Hey everybody, welcome back to another die cast review. Today we are taking a look at a car that I have done reviews on in the past. And when I say in the past, I'm talking one of my first 50 videos. This was a car I reviewed way back when the channel was just getting started. But I was only doing the review on the one, or sorry, on the uh, ARC version. Today we will be taking a look at the Elite. We are taking a look today at Jimmy Johnson's 2017 Bristol Win Elite 124 scale. One of a hundred, only a hundred elites made. And uh, we're going to go ahead and show it off because it's a beauty. Uh, first things first, has a couple of inserts here. You can see the the uh, Certificate of Authenticity card. I miss these. These were always awesome. DIN 28 of 100. And it's just kind of a neat little, you know, extra card. Um, we also have the race win sticker here. The one that came with it was actually yellow. Uh, it was an eBay purchase, and it had the uh, had the wrong sticker with it. So luckily, I had an extra green one, and I uh, was able to plug it in, and make it work. Um, and then we also have the race win card. Uh, started 11th on the afternoon, led 81 laps. It was his 82nd career win. Flip it around, Johnson, best Bristol. And um, this was actually his second win of the season, which was kind of funny because everyone was talking in early 2017. What's wrong with Jimmy? He what's wrong with Jimmy? He hadn't run well. He hadn't won. And then he ripped off three wins in five races, and everyone was like, oh, there's Jimmy. And then, oddly enough, that would be the last three races he's ever won in his career. So it was kind of weird. It was like everyone said, oh, what's wrong with Jimmy? What's going on? He wore, rips off three wins, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, okay, he's back. Nope, that was the last three wins he will he ever had. Weird. Um, anyway, we also added the official event pin for the Food City 500, uh, April 23rd. Oops, April 23rd, 2017. So kind of cool shopping cart looking pin. Uh, but let's go ahead and get right down to it because, like I said, this is a beauty. Um, I love this paint scheme from 2017. Um, there's definitely some cars he could have, you know, won in, in 2017 that, you know, the Cobalt car was kind of cool, but this one is my favorite. Um, so down the left side, you'll see we got our Chevy SS. Uh, you can see the uh, metallic blue 48. We've got obviously metallic blue on the hood, also up on the roof. Here you see we've got A.O. Smith. Um, this actually left rear tire was not on the car. This is a, uh, substitute tire that the previous owner put on, which I appreciate a lot because I love when it has all four tires. Uh, it actually said in the eBay description that, um, he hated the car not having a tire. So he added that in. Well, thank you, because I was going to do that anyway. Uh, but you can see the, the left rear corner panel is flared down, uh, or burned up, I should say, because uh, he did flatten that tire and rip it to shreds. You can see a little bit of the rubber build up there on that left rear corner, along with the rivets along the skirt. Uh, we also got the two winner stickers up there on the name rail. We got Jimmy Johnson with the Twitter and Facebook logos. Um, Obviously, like I said, we've got Aosmith, we've got the uh, American Ethanol ring. We flip it around to the back, that metallic blue is back. we got Lowe's, you can see we got Chevy SS. I'll point out right now how short the um, the rear panel is. And um, I don't know if that's a big deal for drag, but you know, that's a nice short panel, so we might need to look into those. Um, but yeah, you can see the SS uh, rear rear sticker there. We got Lowe's on the both the deck lid and also on the rear bumper. We can go pop that open. You can see that real short spoiler in there. Uh, oh, I forgot to show. I mean, I forgot, but I always knew this. Oh, the braces and tethers. I miss them. Don't y'all? Look at that. We got two tethers. We got a brace. We got our fuel cell back there. DIN number is 28. There you see it. And then also with this car is the 2017 roof flap detail, which I think is severely underrated and not enough people talk about, but it's this cloth right here. There you see the cloth and then the two um, tethers for that roof flap. But that cloth was an addition for 2017 that we lost immediately and never got back after that. Uh, the, this one is doesn't have, the top one doesn't have the cloth in it. Uh, but you do see the antenna holes there on the four and the eight. Um, also, you can see no mount, uh, Monster Energy banner. That was a Hendrick decision uh, to not have those on any of their cars. Uh, we move around to the right side. This is where it gets good. See here on the right side, you can see a lot of wheel marks, a lot of tire marks, a lot of rubber buildup, just a lot of race detail. I mean, it's a Bristol win, so um, Bristol always seems to put on a good show. You can see, look at the, the tire marks all down that left side. There's the rubber buildup. And then you get to the left, right rear corner, and there you see a bunch of wheel marks again. Uh, we got A.O. Smith. We got the 48. We got the neon yellow stripes uh, in there as well. Go along to the nose, you can see a lot of buildup here on the right front corner. So a lot of rubber buildup on that right front fender. We got that neon yellow splitter, which is something I really like. I think the accent looks so good to have that bright yellow splitter. You can see pieces of tape on the grill. Uh, we got our Chevy SS and then the metallic blue hood. 
You can see there's that Lowe's hood in the metallic blue color. Um, this is a good enough paint scheme that I would have probably picked one up had he not won any races in it because I really like this paint scheme. It's one of my favorites outside of 2009 probably. Uh, now we look underneath, you see we got braces and tethers again. Another thing, 2017, they had the tethers way back here right with the uh, braces and it looks really good. So that was something they also adjusted in 2017 was kind of getting the braces and tethers in that lineup and I thought those looked great. Uh, you can see inside, uh, well maybe not, let me try to zoom it in a little bit. Uh, you can see inside the engine bay, sort of, if I can get a good enough light to it um, but inside the engine bay there are individual plug wires running up alongside the valve cover here so there's eight individual uh, plug wires that run down uh, you can see the radiator here um, we go ahead and close this and I can show you from underneath uh, but once you get underneath there you can see the, uh, the lines there that goes into the bottom of the transmission also we have the rear suspension area back here we have our din plate uh, obviously it does have a functioning rear suspension a little bouncy bouncy oh let's back it up here a little bouncy bouncy and the front has a tiny bit of wiggle but not quite as much uh, we look in the right side and uh, it's hard to see but you do have two mirrors there's a mirror over here actually it's right there you can kind of see it um, let's go ahead and zoom in again another detail we've kind of lost but there's a mirror right there you can actually see inside that window net and you can actually see the gauge cluster there it's a digital dash um, on the elites on the ARCs it is not a digital dash that's actually another reason the elites are cool for 2017 they updated them earlier and have the correct dashes in them uh, so yes this one has the digital dash you can see the red uh, there we go the red antenna wire steering wheel does turn with the wheels that's another uh, thing we lost so you can see here I'm turning the wheels and you can see that steering wheel moving back and forth. So another feature we unfortunately lost when they went to the new uh, version of the car, I guess. Um, window net does not come down. That's something that in 2017 they didn't do. Uh, let me look back on the right side again, see if there's anything else I was missing. No, not really. Not really missing anything else. You can't see the tethers though. Uh, through the back you can kind of see them hanging down. Oh, well, maybe yeah, it won't focus um, But you can see the tethers hanging down from the ceiling or the roof on there So uh, but overall really good race win. This is one of my absolute favorites from 2017 um, It's one that I had like I said an ARC and then never just decided to get rid of a bunch of different cars And this was one I always kind of wish I had picked back up because I really like the Bristol win uh, from this season so uh, finally able to snag that one and put it back where it belongs uh, and especially without it already has a tire on it That just makes it even better because I had actually done that with my car And I think I made a video on it way back in 2017 or 18. So uh, Anyway guys, let me know your thoughts on this car in the comments below also turn on the bell and subscribe for more diecast content uh, But other than that that'll wrap up the video. Thank you all for watching. and We will see you in the next Diecast review